Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the new Funko Alien Reaction Figures. We're having a look today at Ash. Ash, as some spoilers I'm sure will be in this if you haven't seen the original Alien movie. Not really sure why you're watching these reviews if you haven't seen Alien, although I can still appreciate a, a good toy line. But if you haven't seen Alien, there will be some spoilers in this particular review. Everybody good? Good? Yes? Okay. Ash, the malfunctioning android. Oh boy, there we go. From the, movie, the original movie Alien is captured perfectly in his little, uh, well, as in a three and a, three and a half inch figure. Um, now the packaging is interesting in the fact that it doesn't actually show a picture of Ash. Instead it shows a picture, a side picture of the Xenomorph. To say nothing, I, I think the pack, the figure packaging is awesome and loving this side profile of the alien, but I'm curious as to why they didn't use a picture of Ash. Perhaps they wanted to use a picture that didn't hint at the fact that he was a malfunctioning robot with milk for blood and it was spewing milk everywhere. I don't know. Uh, needless to say, though, this, as well as the other figures that made up this line, are all adult collectibles. They are not toys and recommended for ages 17 and up. On the back of the package, the other figures that make up the set are the Alien, Ripley, Kane, Dallas, and Ash. Relive the exciting action of Alien with authentically detailed reaction figures. Start your own collection of sturdy, plastic, posable figures. Each measures three and a half to four inches tall. All have, have movable parts and all ready for space adventures. If you're interested in checking out more, finding out more what's going on with Reaction, you can go to www.reaction.com. You can also follow the folks over at Funko at Funko.com and Facebook.com forward slash Original Funko, Twitter at Original Funko as well. What I am going to do is take a break, going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we are going to get a better look at Ash. There's more hanging away, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. So, as accessories go, Ash does come with a motion detector can take it and put it into his hand. Although I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to remember how it actually goes, whether he actually just holds it like this and walks around or if it actually, if he has it this up the other way around. The antenna tells me I almost want to think it's at the top, but to be honest, I, I don't honestly remember. Uh, one thing I do like is the fact that carrying over the theme that this is a retro line. I like the fact that the motion detector is the exact same plastic, same coloring as the flamethrower. A very common trend with a lot of 80s figures was that they shared similar plastic coloring when it came to accessories. Uh, even when you look at things like the Ninja Turtles, they all had very similar, in fact, when they came to their trays, they all had the same color of accessories. And a lot of GI Joes all carried over similar colored accessories. That is a nice touch. A very small touch that Funko obviously knew what they were doing when they uh, when they released these. Now, moving that out of the way, and you know what? Let's have a look at Ash. He's a good-looking figure. I mean, again, it's does it look a lot like Ash? Not really, not really. I mean, it's it has some aspects to it that it looks like Ash. I mean, clearly his outfit looks like Ash. His face doesn't really but it looks similar to what we would get with something like a G.I. Joe, especially when you start looking at, which I don't even think I mentioned with the other figures, but when you start looking at things like their eyebrows and eyes, eyebrows and eyes usually were always the same color on G.I. Joes. Did you know that? Um, so the same thing really is done here with Ash. We've got brown eyebrows, brown eyes, and bring in someone like Dallas, black eyebrows and black eyes. Uh, Scale-wise, they're about the same, give or take. Uh, they're about the same from one another. They have their completely different uh, sculpts on their legs and their upper torsos. So they are very unique from one another. Uh, Ash does still share the same articulation, being that his head does rotate left and right. 
arms rotate all the way around, and of course his legs move back and forth. I guess if you put him in some weird pose, you can kind of pretend like he's malfunctioning, but... Uh, also has peg holes on the undersides of his feet that if, even though we didn't never got a uh, display base for any of these figures, technically they ever came out with like a very cool Nostromo play set, uh, the figures could probably have just pegged onto that. Um, as it goes, I think uh, Ash may not necessarily be my favorite, but I think he looks really good, and he looks like something you would have pulled right out of an early 80s toy line. Uh, by comparison, there is Ash. You know what? We'll just bring these all in. There is Ash, providing I can get him to stand. There's Dallas. Stand. Uh, the much larger Kane. There's Kane right there. And reaching further off camera, there is Ripley. The crew of the Nostromo. And then finally, the crew that's stayed on board and killed everybody. There's the alien right there. Um, it's it's such a great looking set. I can't say enough good things about it, and probably you guys could have gauged that over the course of these videos. Spot is really in love with this line. Funko has done an incredible job taking a line like the Alien line and giving us something like the Reaction line. Bringing a line like this out that would have been a retro line is so awesome of them. Very awesome that Fun Funko could have done this. And with seeing the other properties that it looks like they're going to be picking up, it looks like we're going to be getting a lot more Funko reaction figures. Sign me up. I am definitely interested in definitely uh, following this, these lines as they pursue. In the meantime, though, I'm really happy that I was able to pick up the Alien figures. And I know a lot of people probably think in spot you should have kept them sealed. But A, I could not have done these proper reviewing justice unless I had opened these up. But I can still appreciate them in their uh, in their loose state. Um, this figure line is definitely something that I would say get one of each figure and have it loose and buy the second one that you can keep them all sealed. The packaging is gorgeous on them and something that I think will last the test of time where you can look back on them and really appreciate the line. You might even go back years from now and pick up this line that's probably been boxed away in your collection somewhere and for that split second, you might think you've got a collection that was there from the 80s. It's, it's that believable. So kudos to Funko for producing these. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed these video reviews. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at Ash, but uh, that also wraps up our reviews of the Alien Reaction figures. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. I thank you guys for watching, as you always do, and I'll see you guys next time.